Hey, what's going on guys? Asian Eyes White Dragon here. So this is going to be a deck profile for the Hopper Swords uh, Insector deck that I was playing at YCS for the side event regionals that I topped with. And uh, yeah, uh, I played Herp Derp Logget every round, surprisingly, and I had no problems against it. And I was like, well, that's really awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and get to the, to the deck profile. So we'll start off with the traps. So I'm playing uh, Solemn Judgment, uh, two warnings, and two trench tributes. This Compulse is actually supposed to be Phoenix Chain, but I did borrow that from a friend. So thanks a lot for letting me borrow that. Uh, but yeah, Phoenix Chain definitely proved itself uh, to me. I've, I mean, generally, I, you guys know I didn't like the card too much, but it did prove itself. Um, and I was like, you know what, I'll just try Phoenix Chain. Because I feel like it works great in Insectors because you can pop it. But in other decks, when you can't get rid of the monster, because it has too high of attack, it does become a problem. And uh, next up, I still consider these basically traps. I'm playing one Mexi and a three Effect Baylor, uh, just because they are hand traps. It's not like you'd really uh, summon one of these, except for when you uh, like mind control and you summon Baylor to make a uh, Synchro. Um, but yeah, uh, I did like this be uh, because... Uh, you know, obviously windups were you know pretty darn uh, big, but I really didn't like the Insector matchup uh, when I was playing this deck and playtesting it. Uh, I felt like regular Insectors would beat this all the time, uh, just because they had more consistency and they had other cards that they could play in it. And uh, obviously Maxi doesn't do anything against Insectors, and uh, Valor is quite good against Insectors. And uh, yeah, um, and I played uh, Lagia, Rabbit, Herp Derp every time, so... Uh, Valor was okay. It hit Tour Guide a lot, uh, although Maxi was there when I needed it, and I felt like it was pretty good. Um, next up for the monsters, uh, we're playing Sangan, Dark Arm, Gores, and uh, those are the non Insectors, although I. Yep, that's it for the non Insectors, so just those three. Um, so, yeah, um, now onto the Insectors. We're playing one Gigamantis, uh, three Dragonfly, three Hornet, and three Centipedes, so pretty standard, and then uh, two Hoppers. Uh, surprisingly, I never summoned Hopper at one time the entire uh, time I was playing at the regionals. So, this card came out zero times. And I'm not sure why. I mean, I lured it most of the time, I equipped it most of the time. Um, it did help, though. It did net the uh, quick advantage that Insectors can use uh, by, you know, first turn being able to equip the Hopper and uh, going off from there. Uh, but next up, let's move on to the spells. And so, we are playing Heavy Storm. Once Reborn, Mind Control, Darkhole, and three Pots of Dualities. Uh, next we're playing three Forbidden Lance. I do not regret playing three. It was the best decision I had just because Phoenix Chain was, you know, a really popular card. And, you know, if anyone's going to compete, they're probably going to be playing Phoenix Chains. And uh, that proved itself to be worthy. And the reason why, uh, I decided to go with three Lance. Uh, just because Skill Train was also popular, you know, Dark Worlds can play it. And, uh, you know, it's very good for that. Uh, next up we are playing two Mystical Space Typhoons. On Allure of Darkness, and it wouldn't be an Insector deck without three swords. Uh, if you're playing a sword, you basically have to run three, otherwise you can't get the OTK off. Um, I mean, the, the specific OTK that I was using um, required all three swords. And it proved itself pretty good because I did play uh, Dino Rabbit, like I mentioned, every time. Uh, except for the Voltile player that was also basically making a Lagia deck. Uh, but uh, he got Lagia surprisingly more times than any of the uh, other players. The thing is, like, he made Lagia so many times, and he had, like, multiple Lagia on the field, like, two. And it just didn't matter because he couldn't get over the Insectors because, uh, I mean, Hopper plus this equals what are you going to do? Um, other than, I guess, like, D-Prison and stuff. But usually they don't run D-Prison, they'll play, like, a Mirror Force. But, unfortunately, he never drew into that. Um, next up for the side deck, um, I played... Uh, two Thunder King, uh, two Snowman. They got separated, but they should be BFFs. I cited this in all, all the time. Uh, and then Blackhorn of Heaven. That was another card where I cited it in literally every time. So, I mean, this card was good. I felt like it was good against windups, as long as you're going first. Uh, I don't think I'd probably cite this if I was going second. I'd probably think about, you know, depending on the matchup. But, uh, great card. Uh, Snowman Eater definitely proved itself to be worthy. I thought about doing Raikou, just because you get the mail in. But, you know, uh, the 19 defense with Eater is just so helpful at times. And uh, next up, um, 3, Royal Decree. Uh, and I did, really did this against Chamber, because I did not want to lose to Chamber, because, as you guys know, any deck can really just lose to Chainburn, just because, you know, it is Chainburn. And, uh, you know, they just kind of, like, burn you first turn, you can't really do much to it. But then you go to the side, and you decide to Decree, and they lose. Uh, so, yeah, um, so we got three Decree, and then, like, one random Trag, just because I was like, you know what, I like Trag, let's just try out how Trag goes. Um, surprisingly, I didn't even bother with it much. I did help out one time, because, you know, I dropped it on a Lagia, and then Lagia was like, oh, you're stronger than me, I lose. <laughs> uh, then we're playing two Gozen match. Uh, Gozen proved itself to be okay, although, again, it was one of those cards where if I wasn't going first, I usually didn't bother citing it. Uh, then next up, uh, two Cyber Dragons, 
and two DD Crow. Uh, the DD Crow were kind of uh, the cards I was going because I was thinking like I could side uh, Max C's, but I felt like Crow hit other things, you know, Dark Worlds or any uh, thing that required you know stuff in the grave. Um, maybe Light Sworn. I know Light Sworn. I didn't really see too much Light Sworn there. Um, but it is good, and you know, like when they activate Miracle Fusion, because Heroes were really popular, but I didn't play any of them in the regionals. But, uh, you know, when they activate Miracle Fusion, since Miracle Fusion is not a cost, you can just remove, and if they don't have the targets, then obviously it's basically like hitting something. Uh, but also it hits Reborn, which is a great target to hit. So, yeah. And as far as the extra deck, um,. Basically, all I got out pretty much was Acid Golem, Leviathan, Levier, and also uh, Giga Brilliant, but I never got that out. And this is supposed to be Zen Man's <laughs> The Surfing Pikachu, uh, but I did borrow these two from a friend, so yeah, I don't have them. But anyways, yeah, this has been the deck profile, so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know um, in the comment section below. Because I think I'm going to take this deck apart, and I want to play like a Tech Insector uh, build, and that would be... A uh, different build, like, I want to play Debris Dragon really bad in the deck, uh, just because the targets with the Debris Dragon, you know, being a Hornet, and, you know, you could Black Rose, you have other abilities to uh, go into other things, because, like, I felt like the deck was kind of linear, and, like, you know, it wasn't linear as, like, Rescue Rabbit, but, you know, basically the deck has, you know, really common plays, and I, want, I like decks that mix things up, and, like, with the ability with, like, Birdman, you can get out this guy, because it requires Insect, and I really wanted to play this, um, but, I mean, obviously the deck did do well for me, so I can't complain too much, but, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.